What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors? It's Sergeant Crypto, and I'm back at it again. Yo, it's been a friggin' crazy 24 to 36 hours, folks. Shit's been nuts, all right? My truth. What it do with BitConnect? Yeah, I'm feeling a little effed up that, you know, my passive income from BitConnect is now gone. You know, some days I would get anywhere from 50 to, well, actually from 30 to $60, I guess depending on the interest rate in my wallet. And that's what I've been using to basically transfer out into and fork it off into other platforms, like right back into Binance to buy up some of my favorite altcoins and also back into like HitBTC or Hashflare, all right, to get my cloud mining contracts. Am I mad that that's gone? Yeah. They did kind of sort of give us our money back so they gave us back the money in, in basically BitConnect coins. And right now, you know, I guess the people in the know, right? The ones that knew ahead of time what was coming, they, they started dumping their shit before everyone else got a chance to, you know, take their BitConnect coins off the platform to sell it. Because all last night I was trying to log in, couldn't get in. You know, it was more than 1.5 million people worldwide that was involved with BitConnect. 1.5 million, man. Uh, and uh, a majority of them are from, you know, Asia and the South South Pacific. Yeah, it's just nuts, you know. So basically, it's just fucking nuts. That, that's all I got to say about that. Well, you know, what's fucked up is, like, I got family members in invested too. So, you know, it's kind of messed up. You know, you only invest what you're willing to lose, man. You know, I did make my money back from BitConnect, you know what I'm saying? And also, and that's with no referrals either. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know I had family members in it, but a lot of them either didn't like use my link directly or, and my friends too, pretty much like five people that joined under me, but only two of, the, two of them actually pulled the trigger, you know, but they only put in what they knew they could afford to lose. That's my truth on that. Also, I did transfer some of my BitConnect coins off of the platform. Let's go here real quick. Not here. <laughs> It's my dashboard for YouTube and shit. There it is, hit BTC. So I transferred some over here, and it's taking its time to get here. Whenever you see this thing spinning here, it's a little, um, little loading semi-circle thing spinning. You know, it means the funds are coming through. So I'm basically gonna try, you know, I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna trade my fucking way out of this, all right? There's somebody out there buying up a shit ton of fucking BitConnect coins right now. So, hey, don't wanna take them off my hands? I'll fucking give it to them. All right. However, on the platform itself, on the platform itself, I still have uh, this much in here. And, you know, word is coming down that they'll allow us to actually trade what we have here back into Bitcoin. And if they do that, then by all means, then I'd basically be breaking, you know, be freaking coming out on top. So can't go wrong there. All right. So you're probably thinking like, yo, Sarge, what about the other lending plat program like you've been pumping lately, the Vorcoin? Yeah, what about it? They came out on Twitter, right? They came out on Twitter and basically said, hey, a big F you to BitConnect. They're gone. We're number one now. And, you know, we're not planning to go anywhere. Let me go. Let me go log into Twitter real quick. Let me just log into Twitter and see. If I could pull up what they had posted, it's pretty fucking funny. Up oh, there it is, the first, the first thing, the Vorcoin. So, and they, you know, they did, they did change the platform. They did upgrade it. So this, this is their message. You know, their the Vor community. You must have read by, um, heard by now that um, BitConnect is stopping both lending. And exchange platform, blah blah blah. Let me see. This does not change anything for us except for that divorce, the number one lending platform in the world. We are now the new standard, and we thank you for having, for um, thank you all for having joined us since the beginning, and since very um, recently. So here it is, man. They're saying that basically, they went through the same thing, the DDoS attack. And their people were, their tech team were, was able to, to stop the DDoS attack, you know, basically still crush it, right? They, they stopped for like 12 hours or something and then came right back up. You know, DDoS attacks, basically every large organization 
go through DDoS attack. You know, the U.S. government go through it every day. You know, the U.S. government is getting bombed with the DDoS attacks from China and Russia on a daily, daily basis. And, you know, we do the same to them too, right? You know, Apple is getting DDoS. You know, all, all these, you know, other large organizations, you know, Google, Apple, every, everybody, they, they all get DDoS attacked. And um, to be shut down, you know, for two days was a little little um, signs that they were gonna be bouncing and shit so this is what this is saying you know you know they were on a DDoS attack too and we we did it we solved it right they said two hours but um the, the site was still a little laggy so I'll say 12 it was actually 12 the, the site was still a little laggy but that's neither here nor there I'm no longer going to be pumping Devor because it is a lending platform right so once I earn my money back, right? Because I, I, you know, the, the cool that's the cool thing, right? With, with BitConnect, it did give me an opportunity. You know, it, it got me into crypto, first of all, and it gave me an opportunity. It gave me an opportunity to learn more about this technology, learn more about the blockchain, right? And learn more about different coins and, you know, actually doing research and reading white papers. And I suggest that's that's what you guys do, man. I know these blending platforms are freaking high risk, but they're also high reward too. Okay, so I'm not gonna be pumping this as much. You know, I'll still show you guys my daily, you know, updates and stuff. But the, as of right now, from what I have in my lending wallet or my total investments, 2784, 41. Basically, like two and a half months, I'll make I'll make this back. And most of this is actually from, you know, as you guys know, from from my affiliates and thank you guys all right however let's go here to the to the affiliate side you know a lot of this was from the affiliates right there all right so you know again thank you guys and the initial the big initial one i i put in was you know courtesy of uh big connect you know what i mean so it, it did afford me the opportunity to do that and also to invest in other things like hash flare and into all the altcoins that, that I currently possess. Yes, you know, it did give me an a lot, lot of opportunity, man. Oh, yeah, I am not going to be pumping this as much. I will, however, like I said, just keep you guys up to date. You know, I'll still make my videos, but my videos from now on is gonna pretty much be reviewing, you know, coins and, you know, the technology behind those coins and the deals that those coins or the, the team behind those coins have been making with other companies and industries. Just keep a lookout for that. And yeah, man, you know, these things, these lending platforms are, are definitely high, definitely high risk, you know, the high, high risk. And I always, I always you know, put that out there, you know, invest what, what you know you can lose, you know, what you're willing to lose basically, right? But hey, we can still make money here. There's still money to be made, you know what I mean? There's still money, money to be made. The, the market is down right now. And here we go. The market's down right now. It's still down. Let's look at it like this. Here it is. So this is still a great, you know, buying opportunity. You know, still a great opportunity to get in on some of your favorite altcoins. You know, you can get them on Binance, you know, hit BTC. You could get them on Q coin, okay, so get in. You don't even have to trade, all right, because I'm not I'm not sitting here, you know, pretending to be like some kind of fucking trading guru or some shit, right? But I know this is the cycle of the market, man. This is where we at right now. This this is where we were like in November, you know, optimism, excitement. We, we are going up, you know, the, the euphoria. We feel it's so euphoric. And then, you know, right before Christmas, look, the anxiety, denial, fear, all, all these, <laughs> this is why people will feel, feel it, right? And this, this is where we are now. You know, Warren Buffett, even though he doesn't think crypto, it, you know, is going to last, but he knows what it's, he's talking about when it comes to investing. And he said, this is the time to be selling. When everybody is, is feeling euphoric and feeling high and feeling like, you know, you know, they're, they're brilliant, they're geniuses, you know, because they, they bought in here and they're, they're like here now, right? This is the time to be, this was the time to be selling. And this right now is a time to be outside with your freaking buckets, man. 
you know, scooping that, that shit up, all right? Scooping up all, scooping up everything, everyone that is, is selling, all right? This is the time, okay? So back to if they do allow us, right? If they do allow us to trade it in, even at this value here for Bitcoin, then that, that'd be great. I'll be um, taking my Bitcoin, running, you know, going to a place like HitBTC, and it should still load in. You know, Binance and Qcoin and all these other um, exchanges and basically trading the shit out of these coins. All right. So as far as the VOR goes, like I said, I'll, I'll still do my um, daily reinvest and, and things of that nature, you know, just to get up to that three grand mark. Because once I get there, then I'll be able to, um, let me see, oops. Yeah, they, they totally changed this thing over, man. So yeah, once they get to, once I get to that three grand mark, you know, I'll be making, you know, this, this much every every week or so, and I'll be taking that money and going right into getting some altcoins and things of that nature and just holding the shit, all right? Hold it, hodl, hodl the hell out of it, okay? So, you know, I'm still, like I said, waiting for some funds to clear. And once those funds clear, I am, you know, buying everything up before we go all the way back up to this optimism line right here. All right. So it's me, man, your boy, Sergeant Crypto. Thanks for watching. Just giving you my thoughts uh, and, you know, how I'm feeling. And, you know, I feel bad for people that really threw a lot of dope into this situation, man, into this shit. So I feel bad for you guys. But, hey, we all knew what we was getting into. That's why, you know, you got to follow those rules, man. You know, don't invest more than you're willing to lose. And always pull out. When, whenever you're in a profit, you always pull out. Always, always, always. Always start pulling out and diversify and put your joint into, in, into other investments. All right? So thanks for watching. You know, stay tuned. And peace.